everybody, so I thought I would do a video showing you my quick everyday makeup routine this summer. It's nothing fancy, I've pretty much been doing the same thing every day and I talked about a lot of these products in my favorites video so I thought why not just show you guys myself getting ready like I've done pretty much every day this summer. So I'm going to start off with two products, a BB cream from Pond that I've showed you before and the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous Outlast 3-in-1 Foundation. This one's in gold and tan and this one is in medium and I'm just going to mix them together and rub them all over my face. Alright, so I've been using my fingers as an application method instead of my beauty blender or my sponge for a couple of reasons. One, I can custom create the color on my fingers really easily just by mixing them together and two, I just find it way faster and easier to get kind of even coverage all over my face. I don't know, I've just been finding it a lot easier. I think because the BB cream is mixed in with the foundation, it just makes it easier to, like when I use my fingers, it just kind of sinks right into my skin. So this is all I've been doing, just using my fingers. As you can probably tell, my face was a lot paler than the rest of my body. And that is because um, I use a higher SPF on my face. And also if I'm self tanning, I don't tend to do my face. So I really make sure to bring whatever product I'm using on my face all the way down my neck so that everything blends. And also right into my hairline, because my hairline is quite fair as well. So yeah, with these darker colors of summer, I just have to make sure it's really blended in well. The next thing I'm going to do is take my concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It has a little pump on top, but I find it pumps out too much, so I kind of just hold the side of it as I squeeze down, and then I find I just get half a pump's worth. I'm not wasting a lot of product. Yeah, I just dab some of this under my eyes, um, down the center of my nose and around the sides of my nose. And then I'm just going to use the Beauty Blender to um, tap it all in. Alright, now I'm just taking my Sephora re Retractable Eyebrow Pencil in Honey Blonde and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. I like that this um, pencil is actually waterproof and I've put it to the test many times so it's great during the summer if you're gonna go in a pool or even get sweaty so it's definitely one of my favorites. Now I'm going to take the Stay Matte Powder from Rimmel. I believe this is the darkest color. It's silky beige and it's still too pale for me right now so I just take a little tiny bit of it on a big fluffy brush and place it on the areas that I know are going to get shiny um, or extra oily. So I'm not really adding much product to my face, I'm just kind of um, setting, I suppose, the foundation BB cream that I put down. Then I'm going to take this eyeshadow from Sephora in Outrageous Metallic Peach, which I've shown before. I just take it on my finger and just find it the easiest. And then I just pat it right on top of my eyelid. You can see how pigmented that is. You don't need much. It's a very summery color, it's kind of bronzy and peachy and gold. And um, yeah, I just like the way it looks, especially with my green eyes. Just pat that on my eyelid. Now I'm taking the NARS Laguna Bronzer that I plan to use on the rest of my face with a small fluffy brush. This is the Tapered Blending E35. I'm just going to grab some of that and really quickly just place it into the crease of my eye. Nothing fancy, just giving my eye a little bit of depth. And with that same bronzer, I'm just going to take the Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 and just kind of warm up the rest of my face. I really wouldn't call it contouring because I'm kind of just... I am contouring a bit, but mainly going on the topper part of my cheek, if that makes sense. And then kind of down the side of my face, everywhere that the sun would hit. So just adding a bit of bronze to my face. And then my favorite blush right now, which is Coral Radiance from Avon, just a pretty peach color. Adding it mostly just to the apples of my cheeks, dragging it a little bit back. And I'm zooming back in for eyeliner. This is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. And some days I use this and some days I just use like um, a smudge stick type eyeliner. But today I thought I would do a wing. And I'm just going to curl my eyelashes real quick and then put on some mascara 
And I've still been loving the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara. I've been trying a whole bunch this summer, but I keep coming back to this. It just works the best on my eyelashes. And lastly, my lips. I've been loving this combo. This is 903C Just Peachy from Wet n Wild. I'm going to put that on first. This is a lipstick. And then on top, I'm going to use the NYX uh, Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. And I believe I got this in an Ipsy bag recently. And it just kind of tones down the brightness of that lipstick. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um, pretty simple in my opinion. There's a whole bunch I could do to spice this up or make it fancier. But I like the way this looks and it's been really easy. It's really fast, which is nice. And it stays on pretty well um, in like the humidity and even water. It's A lot of it will stay on. Of course, I would use waterproof mascara if I were going to go swimming and probably wouldn't wear um, the stuff on my lips, things like that. But overall, this has worked really well in the summer, so I'll show you kind of a close-up. It's got that gold bronzy eye and kind of peach colored cheeks and then peachy nude lips. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my little tutorial. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below and thank you so much for watching. Bye!